Good evening, everybody. I hope everyone is enjoying the night. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, my name is Usman Kabre, and I'm from Madison College. So tonight, I'm here on behalf of uh, over 40,000 students at Madison College. And um, Madison College really wasn't really my first choice when I came to the United States. Because two years ago, I graduated from high school and I really wanted to study in the United States. But my desire to study in the United States did not really start it two years ago. Since I was back in high school, I really wanted to study in the United States, not only because of the great education people really talk about, uh, but also those great connections I will really make in the United States. So back in high school, I started my own business and started saving money to come to the United States. And my business uh, was uh, waking up in the morning on 4 a.m., biking to the bakery, ordering bread, and de delivering from house to house. And uh, on my delivery road, I met wonderful people, and those people really helped me create my, start my own restaurant, my small restaurant in my country. And uh, I was still saving money to come to the United States because that was my main goal, studying in the United States or not. And even though I was still making my saving money by uh, running my small business, uh, I couldn't really afford to study in the United States because West Africa, man, you're going to be having a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and all my friends were saying, okay, man, you are from a low-income family. Why would you really think great about studying in the United States? And I say, okay, this is my determination to study in the United States, and I will make it happen. And since I have my small business, I met a wonderful woman. I was really delivering bread from house to house to her place for five years. And I tell her my story, and she saw my determination, my motivation, my follow through to achieve my goals in the United States. So she decided to invest in my education. And she's not here tonight, but I'm really grateful to her. I always thank uh, Helen Wirago, this is her name. And anywhere I go, I really tell her that uh, I'm really happy that she invested in my education. But anyway, I came here last year. I spent four months studying English because I'm from West Africa and we only speak French as a first language. I, sp I spent four months studying English and then I transferred to Madison College. Why Madison College? Because prior to that, since I'm from a low-income family, I did some research and I know that I can go to a technical college get my two-year transfer program, my general education done, and then transfer to a four-year college where I can get my accounting and finance degree. And after that, get my CPA. And sometimes people ask me, hey, Usman, when you get your CPA, what, you, what will you do? Will you stay in United States as many people do? I said, no. Because if I come to United States, someone help me, and I would love to go back in my country and help my community really improve and help people in my country. And uh, when I graduate here from UW Whitewater, this is what I'm going to transfer to, UW Whitewater, and I will get my accounting degree. I will stay in the United States for two years or three to get some experience about my field and then go back to my country to help, to help those people down there who are waiting for me. Because I always remember that wonderful phrase of uh, Albert Einstein, who was um, the Nobel Prize uh, in physics in uh, 1921, who says that uh, only a life lived in the service of others is worth living. Thank you, everyone, for coming here tonight. Uh, and thank you, Robert W. Um, Bell, uh, for sponsoring this uh, event. Uh, thank you.